Royals hosting the Twins, and the Twins are minus 178 on the money line. The Royals are plus 150 over under nine runs. The Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, it has to be by two. And the Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Both of these pitchers did pitch against the opposing team this year. Maeda went seven innings, two runs, one earn. They won that game nine to three. He struck out nine batters in that game. The Twins are five and five in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. They've won his last four starts. They are four and one in his last five. His ERA is at 1.8 and he's averaging five and a third innings pitched in his last five games. His last outing, he allowed one earned run and struck out eight. The game before that was two earned runs and struck out nine. The game before that was three earned runs and struck out six. The game before that was one earned run and struck out nine. And the game before that was two earned runs and struck out four. Uh, Yarbrough pitched once. It was in relief. One and two thirds, no runs, no earned. They lost that game two nothing. He didn't strike anybody out. They're four and six as a team in his last ten starts. He's averaging three and two innings pit three and two-thirds innings pitched in 2.1 strikeouts per game and I should say four and six in his last 10 appearances because he's been used both as a starter and a reliever in his last five starts they are three and two with a 2.2 ERA and five and a third innings pitched he allowed one earned run and struck out one three earned runs and struck out four one earned run and struck out five one earned run and struck out two five earned runs and struck out five in that game head to head the home team is on a six game winning streak the home team is eight and two the royals are on a two game winning streak the twins are seven and three against the royals in their last 10 the underdog has won the last two games the favorite is seven and three on the money line and the favorite winning these games by two runs or more laying a run and a half also seven and three the over is hitting their last two the over is seven two and one and there's been one one run game in their last 10 meetings the game they played today the royals won 10 7 the game before that they won 8 5 the game the four previous games to that the twins won five nothing nine three eight four and eight four all of those games that the twins won were in minnesota The Twins are on a four-game losing streak. They lost their last two games against the Mariners, 9-7 and 8-7, and then dropped these last two games to the Royals, 8-5 and 10-7. They are 5-5 in their last 10. For the Royals, they are on a two-game winning streak, obviously. They are 2-2 in their last four, 3-7 in their last 10. Losing to Cleveland, 5-1 and 8-3, and then beating the Twins in these last two games, 8-5 and 10-7. I understand there's the home team stat, I still just don't trust the Royals, and to think that they're going to win and sweep a three-game series against the team that should be significantly better than them, I don't think so. I'm going to take the Twins with the money line. I'm going to take the Twins laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.